Mechanics of Reddit, what's the dumbest thing you've seen someone do to their vehicle? Asterisk. The list is long. Removing PCV hose, assorted vacuum lines, O2 sensor, etc. Thinking they are going to get better performance. Cutting a wire under the dash to hook up a stereo. Then bringing the car to me to fix the tail lights. Pouring three quarts of oil in but the dipstick still shows low because they put the oil in the radiator. Putting gasoline in a diesel truck, again. That, again, just tops it all off. You would think people learn, but sometimes not, and those stories can make the best jokes. The again edition made me chuckle. Doing it once, they get a pass. Maybe their last vehicle, other vehicle or work vehicle take diesel or they were just generally having a bad day. I almost did that after 12 hours of driving, completely forget it was a diesel. Asterisk. Worked as a car cleaner at a dealership one summer in high school. Guy towed in a relatively new, top-of-the-line Corvette he had bought there sometime before I started. He was pissed that it had died on the road and been running like shit before that. Dot dot. Ranting and raving about he spent all this money and it only went X months, years before completely breaking down. One of my work buddies got it up on a lift and started looking it over. He opens the oil drain plug and nothing comes out. He pulls apart the engine and the oil could now be best described as glue. Owner talks to the guy and asks when the last time he changed the oil was. Guy had zero idea what he was talking about, he had no idea that you had to do that. He assumed you just added gas and that's the only thing you needed to do. The car was a complete loss. If there's one thing I can take away from this post, it's that it's pretty astonishing how many people don't know or care to get their oil changed. My best friend drove his first car for about two or three years before it threw a rod because he never checked or changed the oil. Absolutely not his fault, literally no one ever mentioned it to him. People don't know what they don't know, his parents should have explained basic car maintenance to him. Edit, for all the owner's manual commenters, the car was over 10 years old. It is not uncommon for the owner's manual to be missing on used cars that old. Yeah, it's usually there, but not always. Asterisk. I bought my car off a guy for $785. For all intents and purposes it worked fine, but the guy said that it overheated almost daily. 1999 Nissan Sentra, manual, 135k miles. If it didn't overheat it would have been closer to $3, 4k, maybe even more. I bought it anyways, cause I could try fixing it and cause I was desperate for a car, my old one died and I lived 10 miles from work. So I brought the car home, the guy filled the radiator per an agreement we made, and the overflow tank was already empty. I started feeling along the coolant piping, and when I came to the thermostat sensor housing I could stick my fingernail inside the gap. My fingers came out soaking wet with coolant. Went to a parts store, spent $10 on a housing gasket, $3 on some liquid gasket, and $50 on new oil, a new oil filter. A new air filter, radiator cleaner, and coolant. Spent an entire day putting that gasket in, the reason it took so long is a frickin' story and a half that was all about Murphy's Law, changed the oil, cleaned out the radiator, and I haven't had any trouble since. All in all, a perfectly working car for about $850. I kinda feel bad for the dude who sold it to me. Ah okay just a couple of bolts. Can find every spanner but the one size you need. Finally finds correct spanner. Bolts a bit stiff proceeds to round a bolt. Asterisk 3 hours later finally get bolt out asterisk. Asterisk. Did a co-op at a shop back in high school, guy complains about how his car doesn't sit straight. We pull it in and don't even need to put it on the lift to realize that he has 17 inch rims on one side and 15s on the other. Took me about 45 minutes of explaining to him why cars aren't made like that before he told us that he'd be taking his business elsewhere. On a side note the side with the 15s were 100% bald, like racing slick bald and everything in that car was falling to pieces. I have too many stories of shit I found in people's cars there, but this one has to be my favorite. Wait like he knew it was that way and thought it was fine. What? I need to know more. Pretty much. He thought that it just had to roll. Honestly I probably could have put shopping cart wheels on and he wouldn't have given a shit bit of a stretch but you know what I mean. On the other hand, it turned left like a hot damn. Asterisk. Not a mechanic but an old colleague told me he had to get a tow truck to his house as he had an engine warning light on his dashboard so he thought it'd be better not to start it or anything. The tow truck guy came and looked and said yes that's your handbrake warning light showing that it's on. He was so embarrassed lmao. When I did towing I'd get a few calls every month for the car won't start. Then I'd show up and it was in reverse or drive. Or you have to press the clutch in to start.
Also when people replace their batteries and leave the plastic caps on the terminals and wonder why there is no electrical power. Asterisk. I was working at a performance shop at the time, 2010. Golf GTI comes in for lack of power and throwing check engine codes for underboost and several for fuel trim management conditions. Did the typical process of checking the turbo waste gate operation, pressure and smoke tested the charged side of the turbo system for leaks, tested fuel pressures, all checked out. Removed the intake side from the turbo to inspect for rips in the rubber boot, all good. Looked inside the intake boot and this moron bought one of these turbinator gimmicky things and put it inside the intake. It had turned completely on its side and was restricting 80% of the airflow. Removed the obstruction and motor operating values returned to normal and power was restored. Did not feel any guilt that this idiot had to pay a few hundred for me to diagnose and remove his awesome DIY performance mo. D. I just looked up what a turbinator was because I've never heard of it before. The first review of one I found on Amazon was a guy complaining that the fins broke off and got sucked into the engine causing a lot of damage. As far as I can tell, these things are the equivalent of sticking a tin pinwheel in your air intake. Asterisk. The previous mechanic didn't know how to patch an exhaust leak, and had tried to weld a rockstar can around the leak. The leak caused the second oxygen bank to fail, which is why they tried to patch it with the can. Not a week later the bank read a failure again. You don't weld it on, you use some sealant and a couple of jubilee clips. Go ahead and encase it all in some exhaust wrap too. It won't stop the leaks but it'll give the mechanic more time to bill. Asterisk not a mechanic, but former service writer. Woman comes in for an oil change, some common minivan, nothing out of the ordinary. Walked by the van while it was up on the rack, and noticed one of the tires was nearly bald in the middle, cords showing, textbook over inflation. I checked the tire pressure, was well over inflated. Then looked around the vehicle, two more tires were in exactly the same state, over inflated an S. Howing damage from it. The fourth was a bit under inflated, no glaringly obvious tread wear. Pointed it out to the customer when she came back, asked if there's any reason three tires would be over inflated. Long story short, she was occasionally seeing a low tire, light on the dash, no indication of which tire, just low tire, told her husband, and he just aired up all four tires. Happened again, fixed the same way, rinse and repeat. So over time they kept the tire with the leak going, but managed to ruin the other three. Buy a tire pressure gauge if your car doesn't give you per tire pressure readings. You should see the looks I've had as a woman, gauging the tires on the old Volvo up at the gas station. Just do you have a clue what you're doing? In a facial expression. Asterisk. Completely fill their engine with oil and wonder why it's smoking and then locked up. My mom filled the oil fill with water when the car was overheating. She said that she knew it said, oil, but she didn't know where else to put the water. Oh shit. Asterisk. Bad snow day, for whatever fuck reason we were open. Guy pulls up needing a flat repair. He pulled up in a way the car could be just pulled in. Co-worker goes to pull it in and can't stop slams into his box. Wasn't going fast enough to damage anything. Car had zero brakes, say something to the customer, oh the foot brake. That hasn't worked in years, you have to use the hand brake. We inspect the vehicle and discover it doesn't even have brake calipers in the front. With the hoses clamped off and not an ounce of brake fluid in the master cylinder. And the most surprising part, they didn't want to get the brake repairs done. Edit, typos. Holy shit gold. Thank you kind stranger. Well yeah, they decided that they didn't consider working brakes something that they need. How it passed inspection though. Asterisk not a mechanic but we do almost all of our farm equipment maintenance. Brother called during a hellacious snowstorm telling me, hurry get over here and bring beer. I arrive with Bud Light in hand. He's got two lawn chairs under his carport. We get a beer and settled in our chairs out of the snow. We commence to watching his methed out neighbors that are higher than kites push this Mustang. They're trying to push start it. After about 10 minutes were hysterical. They had been trying for almost two hours. It was an automatic transmission. You need to send an invite out to the rest of us next time. I'll bring the snacks. I'm good for some pizzas.